you would never see an angle like this on TV today because we're we're too politically correct and it's you know the, the, they don't they don't want to do a lot of work shoot stuff anymore. But do you remember when Eddie kind of uh, Shane? I don't know if you were what. Uh, were you, were you there when Eddie when the, the Latino world world order was was a uh, when when they yeah. made the, okay bro do you, well, you know I mean, like the I whole don't, the, I don't the, know the, I was the, there I know of it okay bro the whole background behind that that's like what we're talking about you know Eddie arguably is like, like the greatest wrestler of all time and, and, my, and that's in my personal opinion I've been in the ring with him I think he's by far the best in ring performer I've never worked with Shawn Michaels but for me I've worked with Eddie and he's the best guy I've ever been in the ring with okay but you know Eric wasn't pushing him okay. And he kept getting pissed off, you know, that Eric wasn't pushing him, right? Bro, it's like they we they did the Latino World Order angle as kind of like a shoot because Eric wasn't pushing like the, like the Mexican wrestlers. You know, like, like, like think about that. It's like, you know, basically they're like making a storyline out of almost like a racist type situation where in WCW we weren't – and they, they weren't. You know, they, were, they really weren't pushing the Mexican wrestlers. Yeah, it's like, and we, don't, we don't know what to do yeah. with all these Mexican Let's uh, put them in a group. Originally, I was going to be the leader of the LWO, but then I went to the Wolf Pack. And mm-hmm. so then they made Eddie the leader of the LWO. Right. And I'll tell you what, that's when we finally started to see, because Eddie before that, you know, uh, Shane, you know, I don't, he was really, really like when we were in Mexico, he was really shy. Promos wasn't his strong point. Um he was just a wrestler, you know, mm-hmm. and now you were starting to see him develop, especially being having Love Machine for so many years as a tag team partner who was so over the top charismatic. And um, so um, uh, that's when you started to see him perform, because remember that infamous skit where he's taking everybody's mask off and making shoot comments mm-hmm. like when Parker took off his mask, like he really is. Uh, I'm not that I'm Brad Pitt, but he is, an ugly bug, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And he actually reacted to it. He goes, oh, and he got scared. You know, he goes, put the, ma- the, ba- the mask back on. Then Halloween took his off. You know, he looks like something out of Shrek. And he's like, you know, oh, did you get attacked in a fire? You know, and he keeps <laughs> pointing out and he's, he shoots saying what he thinks of each wrestler. That's when we first started to really see Eddie the performer. Did he say attacked in a fire like he's already on fire and then he gets attacked too? <laughs> right. Who is, who is the pretty boy he unmasked? Uh, psychosis. Why do you got a mask on? <laughs> That's good stuff, man. 